guys, I'm currently looking at the absolute state that my bedroom is as I'm trying to film this video because it's making me realise how many clothes I have. Like, summer clothes, it's not okay. <laughs> I'm stressed. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, don't mind the strange angle. I've got my phone set up here because I'm going to be showing you my outfits today. So today's video is going to be my Camp America like, lookbook and I wanted to film this video and I didn't know if people would be interested. It's something that I would definitely be interested in watching if I was looking at going to camp because I definitely made the mistake my first summer of taking no nice clothes with me. Like, I had nothing nice to wear. So hopefully this video will give you a bit of inspiration for some outfit ideas. I think I'm going to try and sort them. Like, I'm going to show you some outfits that I'd wear on a night off, some outfits that I'd wear on a day off, and then some, like, outfits I'd wear travelling because they are going to be slightly different just because the kind of vibe for those days are a little bit different anyway when you're at camp. So, yeah, I've, I've come to understand that I do not need to buy another summer item. I know that I will, but I don't need to. This is going to be multiple parts, this video, because the stuff I've got here isn't even most of my summer clothes. I mean, I'm glad I'm prepared, but also to the point where I'm going to have to leave half of this stuff here because I'm not going to be able to fit it all in my suitcase and I'm going to want to be able to buy stuff over there. So, yeah, like I say, I know I had a lot of people ask me more for, like, they had no idea where to shop for things, like, what kind of places were good to buy, like, camp items from. And it's no different than normal summer clothes, to be honest. The stuff you'll wear at camp is stuff that I'd normally wear in the summer here. There's just slightly different things that you want to be able to be prepared for and make sure you've got certain items. That's what, like I say, I wish. Like, my first summer, we were going out to, like, bars or out for food or anything. And I was like, I have no nice clothes. Like, I bought mostly sporty, like, gym stuff because I was like, well, I'm going to be working at gymnastics. I'm going to be doing this. I need to have athletic clothing. And then I took, like, a few pairs of denim shorts and a couple of nice tops, but that was it. So, yeah, hopefully this can give you an idea of some outfits. Like I say, I probably won't take... I'll take probably all of these outfits because these are like my favourite summer outfits I've pulled out. And then in the other videos, if I do make other ones, there'll be bits in there just for more like inspiration of ideas of things for you to wear. So I think I'm going to start with what I'd wear on like a night off. At my camp, if you had a night off, you'd either go out for some drinks or you'd go for some food. You'd go to the cinema. People just go to Walmart. Walmart is such a fun place to hang out when you're at camp. I don't know why. Obviously, Walmart's massive anyway. Like the one by my camp is huge. And there's like restaurants inside. Like There's a subway there's another restaurant. So people would just go and like buy any essentials they needed and then just chill out and then get the bus back to camp. This is mostly going to be for like if you're going out. Like if you're going to go for some drinks, if you're going to have some food, you're going to have to have a good night. So yeah. So yeah, the thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to try all of these outfits on. I'm going to try on a few and then just show you some other outfit ideas because honestly it's freezing right now and obviously all the stuff I've got is like shorts and cute dresses and I'm too cold to keep putting them on and taking them off. It's just freezing so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and i hope you enjoy the video okay so this is probably one of my favorite summer outfits really sorry if this looks really wonky the setup i've got you on is actually hilarious because i'm trying to sort this so you can actually see my full outfit so right i think that's a little bit better but yeah this is a denim play suit from opoly and when I say this is one of my favourite things to wear, I wore this loads when I was in Bali last summer and it's really comfy and this would be perfect for a night out at camp because you still feel like you're dressed up a little bit but it's still casual and when I say this, this is the comfiest thing ever, I love it. I've also got this in like a nude like beige colour and I know they do it in black but again I've mentioned this in my shopping haul videos, I did not buy this from Opoly, I think I bought this from Depop for like £7 because I just can't bring myself to pay £40 for something like this when I know someone is going to have bought it, not liked it, hasn't returned it. And I think I bought this brand new. It came with the labels on. So, yeah, this is one of my faves. Sticking with more kind of, like, dressy outfits. I'm going to hold it this side so the TV is not in the way. This is, again, one of my favourite summer dresses to wear. I bought this when I was in Australia, and it's from Glassons. I think you can... I'm not sure if you can order stuff from Glassons here. I don't know, but I've seen, like, similar Glassons dresses, like I say, on, like, Depop and Vinted. This is so cute and so perfect to wear, especially for a night off, but as well for a day off. Like, I'd wear this on a day off when we were just chilling in the sun. But no, dresses like this are perfect. And like I say, my first summer, I don't think I had a single dress like this. So this is a must. This, again, is this is definitely more of, like, a dressy vibe. Probably more for I'd wear this if I was travelling. Most of the places you go to at camp, I've had a few people ask me, actually. They're more, like, really little bars in the middle of nowhere. So... People don't get really, really dressed up. It's nice to feel kind of like put together and put a nice outfit on. But I probably wouldn't wear this to one of the bars I go to at camp. This would be like if I was out in New York or 
if I go to LA or anywhere like this. But this is from Zara and this is honestly the nicest dress. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it in Bali actually because it's one of my favourite dresses and the material is so lightweight so it's perfect for the summer. I did buy this from Zara I think but I think this was like £29 which for this from Zara I thought was really really good. Okay another cute dress I've got actually. This is from Misguided and it's this really cute like puff sleeve dress. Again I would probably wear this on a night out if we were going somewhere appropriate like the right kind of bar or like out for dinner or something but again more for like traveling after yeah this is really cute again really lightweight oh this would be perfect actually i've mentioned before that at the end of my camp we do like an end of summer like banquet kind of like a prom thing and everyone gets really dressed up and we have like a really nice meal and have like a dance party or whatever so something like this would be perfect make sure you've got a nice outfit it doesn't obviously have to be a dress it can literally be anything but a nice outfit to wear at the end of summer because most camps do put something on together like an end of summer like banquet bash okay going to more slightly casual outfits now this is going to be probably my favorite style outfit to wear when i'm at camp but yeah when i went to camp like i say i didn't have the right clothes anyway but in the main i would just wear like denim shorts and a little top like this which is fine because i was so comfy and it still looks cute but there are also moments when you do want to have slightly nicer clothes to be feel a little bit more dressy and all that but this is definitely going to be one of my go-to outfits these shorts are from levi's and when i say <laughs> These have been everywhere with me. They are the most like battered pair of shorts, but they fit me so nice. I can't bring myself to ever get rid of them. This little top is from Hollister, actually. I went to Hollister in Liverpool last weekend and they had some really, really nice gym bits and like bralettes and kind of like athletic apparel. And this was like £10 and the quality is really, really nice. And then I would just wear it with like an oversized shirt like this, just because it can get a little bit cold depending on wherever your camp is. Like it'd normally be quite warm as we were leaving, but as we were coming back at like gone midnight, it'd be a little bit cold. So make sure you've got either like a shirt or a jacket. Something like this is perfect. This is from Glassons again. I need to go back to Australia because honestly Glassons was the best shop ever when I was there. But yeah, you could literally switch this outfit up into so many different things, like a different colour pair of shorts, different top. Like I've got some black denim shorts or white denim shorts. And you could wear like a different colour, like little top and a shirt. I've got a few different shirts. I've got a white short sleeve, like linen one, which is really nice to wear. And I've got like a purple one. I've got like a checked one. So shirts are really, really nice to have, especially for days off. Because if you're out like chilling in the sun or you've gone swimming somewhere, it's really nice to have a shirt to just chuck on over your bikini or whatever it is you're wearing. Just so, again, so you're not freezing and so you're covered up when you need to be. I'll just show you a few different kind of like tops and stuff that I'm going to take. Like I said, I don't want to try everything on because I'll be here forever. This little top from Burr because really cute like imagine even this with like a little bralette with these shorts i wore it like that before and this is really nice but any like little tops like this are going to be perfect and this i bought this years ago when i was in spain from like a little boutique market and this with some white shorts is really cute like a little bandeau so you kind of get the vibe like it's going to be very chill especially nights off but you want to be cute and comfy still so whatever kind of vibe that works for you like like i say not everyone's going to have the same style as me like some people might want to just go out in like a jumper and some shorts which is fine some people want to get a bit dressed up and wear jeans and some nice shoes or it really doesn't matter it's completely up to you this is just give you a rough idea of stuff that i'll be wearing if anyone cares denim shorts these are really nice these are from Topshop, and again i've had these even like a cute little all white outfit would be nice so yeah definitely like i say even at camp when you have actually have evenings where you either do themed events or stuff but like we have something called white out where you have to wear a whole white outfit so something like this like you're gonna use throughout the summer as well anyway this little top i bought from zara which is just like a little halter neck these were i bought these from bali and the sale in bali in zara was incredible i think this was like four pound this top body suits are really ideal to have for nights off as well like i would wear this with these shorts for a night off just because again it's comfy it's chill and you still look like you've put yourself together you still feel a little bit cute oh there's one more top i'm going to show you actually that i'd wear with like this outfit and it's this top from mistress rocks and it's such a cool concept of a top i really struggled to work out so you like wear it as a normal top but then this zips up as a corset around the back and i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit small when i do the corset bit up but it's really really nice and again little cute t-shirts like this baby tees or oversized t-shirts are absolutely perfect okay now this next one is probably one of my favorite outfits i've ever put together i haven't actually worn this out anywhere i bought both of these things when i was in paris actually the tops from zara and the Bershka, I think the skirt's from, and it's this really cute little holiday skirt. And again, I'd wear this more probably that end of summer, like either for something at the last day of camp or when I'm traveling. Just, I mean, to be fair, I'd wear this on a night off, don't get me wrong, but it is a little bit dressy for what I'd wear on a night off, shall we say. But no, like having a cute skirt, some little bodysuits, some little tops like this are going to be a lifesaver, just so you can kind of like mix and match and actually make 
more outfits out of little things. That's what I didn't have. I didn't have things that I could mix and match with. I didn't have like staple tops and bodysuits and little like bralettes and crop tops and stuff, which is something I definitely wish I had. And I think I've mentioned before, I actually got my mom to send some of my clothes over to camp for my first summer because I was like, mom, we're going on all these nights out and doing these really fun things. And I've got no nice clothes. I was like, please send me some clothes. And she very kindly did. So yeah, I hope you get the kind of vibe for nights off. Like, like I say, you can wear whatever you want. There's no dress code when it comes to what you wear. I just know a lot of people have kind of asked me for just more like what the vibe has been for when I've gone. And like I say, I'll insert some photos if I've got them of what I would wear if I was out at the bar. And it would be very chill. Like sometimes I'd take like a big jumper and just wear it over my outfit. Like if I was wearing that denim short, uh, the denim shorts and the little t-shirt i'd take like a big jumper as well if i wasn't taking a shirt so you do want to be comfy and cozy as well just like i say if it's cold or you just want to be comfy anyway like that's a big thing and like i say the bars aren't like they're just little bars it's not like a big like you're not going out clubbing really it's not like that you don't need to be dressed up for things like that so it's more just for you to escape have a little bit of time away from camp have some drinks have some food chat with friends and yeah so kind of like the vibe that you would go if you're going to the pub i would say so yeah a few people have asked me actually as well if i take jeans and i'm probably not going to take any jeans actually i'm going to take some cargos i think i'll take a couple of pairs of my cargo trousers just because for me i prefer those to jeans anyway and i'd wear either with a big t-shirt or like a little bodysuit or something like this i hope you've kind of got an idea for the vibe for that and people asking me about where to start buying things from honestly anywhere wherever you would normally shop and think clothes you like from certain stores like wherever wherever you normally shop like for me my favorite to like zara bershka hollister i was impressed with that top i'd definitely look at hollister again they've got a 40 percent off sale at the moment actually if anyone is having a little look places online like princess polly i absolutely love princess polly they are a little bit more dressy like a lot of their outfits so again they're more for what i'd wear at the end of summer like when i'm traveling but yeah those are my go-to's but whatever your favorite shops are buy whatever clothes you know are going to fit you nice you're going to feel good in you feel comfortable in yeah that's all that really matters don't be spending loads of money on outfits and stuff because you really don't need to at all okay so the vibe for a day off is definitely this like the comfiest clothes you can find because imagine you've just been out on your night off so i don't think i've explained actually so at my camp uh, i will have a night off on a tuesday and my day off will always be a wednesday so i would have off from like nine o'clock on a tuesday night We'd go out, go somewhere, stay over in a hotel, and then we'd have all day off on the Wednesday. Now, not every camp will run like that. I don't know how other camps actually work. So that's how mine goes. So we'll be out somewhere on the Tuesday, and then we'll go off and do something fun in the day on the Wednesday. So yeah, we've gone out for drinks. We've done something on the Tuesday night. We've all stayed together in a hotel somewhere. And then on the Wednesday, the vibe is normally like a pretty chill, like go in the sun, have some more drinks, and just kind of like relax. Like you don't ever feel like you have relaxed on a day off because you are still out doing stuff. Like some of the examples we've done, we've, we used to go to a place called White Lake and it's this massive lake and you used to be able to just hire boats and we'd spend the day on the boat in the sun with some drinks and it would just be really, really fun. So obviously most of the time you spend your days off in swimwear, like swimsuits, bikinis, things like this, just like comfy things. Obviously you don't have to get in the water, but if you want to get a tan, that's what we do but always make sure you've got like a big oversized t-shirt or a big jumper because we would obviously have to pack our bags on the tuesday for our day off on the wednesday so always make sure obviously you've got clean change of underwear some swim stuff a towel is always something i used to forget some like comfy chill shorts like this a big jumper like i say i take a jumper with me or like a big t-shirt or a shirt and that's kind of the vibe for a day off anything chill anything comfy i've got a few pairs of these shorts that i can't remember where these were from i want to say i bought these in america I feel like I got them from Target and then I really, I think I've shown this in one of my other videos. This is a pair of shorts I definitely wear on a day off. I've, I've said before on my videos that I want to get the matching shirt to this so bad. I just haven't got around to ordering it. But I'd wear this on a day off with like, even this white top is cute. And I'd wear this with like a bikini and like the big shirt over the top as well. Swimsuit, some other ideas for some swimwear. This is really nice. This is from Zara, but I think I bought this from TK Maxx. Honestly, I rave at like TK Maxx when you're prepping for camp is probably one of the best shops just because you can get so many different things there and they're so much cheaper like i said i think this was like three pounds absolute bargain this is something i'd be able to wear at camp as well like at camp you normally can't wear bikinis or anything that shows tummy or boobs or anything like that so you'd always have to wear like a swimsuit like a full one piece so something like this as well would be really cute this is my hill figure swimsuit and this is really comfy as well another chill outfit i bought this toweling set from zara last summer and this is so nice and comes with the matching shorts but again that'll be perfect for a day off like 
if I've been out in the water somewhere, I just chuck that on after I've been for a swim. But yeah, please, please, please make sure you've got whatever your comfiest clothes are for a day off because you are going to need them because you <laughs> nine times out of ten, you're going to feel rough from the Tuesday. You're drinking again and then we would normally get back to camp. We'd normally go to Walmart first, stock up on some food, get some stuff, just chill out for a little bit, maybe go to the cinema, go out for a meal, and then we'd come back to camp for around seven or eight o'clock, and the people that were dedicated would go back out on the Wednesday night. I could never normally manage it. I would like just wanna chill, because otherwise you're just so tired for the next day, and you're back to work. Like, you're back on duty from midnight of that day, if that makes sense. So normally, obviously, all your kids are asleep by the time you get back in from your day off, but you are back on duty, you're back ready to work if you need to be like woken up by kids or whatever. So yeah, anything cosy, this, I, I think I've spoken about this before, this is one of my favourite jumpers ever. It's the perfect, when I say the best oversized jumper I've ever owned, I'm not even joking, I think it's a little bit dirty, so I apologise, I've just wore it to work. Um, It's by the brand Ferve, and it's actually one of my friends, friends, brands, and she's from Australia, and I'll leave her Instagram or the link down below, because... The quality of this is unmatched. And I think that's what you need to probably look at either investing in or if you already have, make sure you take with you. It's like a decent quality jumper because I take some that they just go really bitty and they just feel tatty and you end up having to throw them away and you do need one that's going to last you the whole summer. I have actually got a champion jumper. Well, I bought at camp my first summer from Salvation Army and it was $2. And when I say it was the best jumper, it's traveled the world with me it's been everywhere but now it's getting on its last legs so i did need to get a new one and i very i actually got this for my birthday but now i want to get every single color because the quality and the fit of this is amazing so yeah make sure you've got a really nice oversized big jumper or t-shirt or just again whatever you feel comfortable in i don't want to tell you to go and buy certain things if it's not your style so whatever you would normally wear and you want to chill in you want to feel comfortable in take that this little bikini is really cute actually and i bought this in bali I just realized a lot of this stuff that i'm showing you you won't be able to buy because I bought them really f far away, but yeah. Um, this, because a lot of my bikinis and stuff are not necessarily like thong bikinis, but they're more like cheeky bikinis. So definitely make sure you've got like a variety if you wear different styles, just because sometimes you want to feel a little bit more covered up. So these are really cute little bottoms. And then the top is honestly adorable. It's this really cute little square kind of like neck one, but it covers me completely. And that's what I quite like. Again, completely personal preference. Place that I've been loving actually for oversized t-shirts is like ASOS or Boohoo, but the men's ones. And this one is just like a really nice oversized t-shirt. And I'd be able to like chuck this on, like I say, on a day off over whatever like swim stuff I was wearing or just wear this with some shorts just because I've said it so many times, but you want to be comfy. A lot of the times as well, like we would spend, if we go to a place called Skinner's, where it was this, I'll insert a photo, but it was like this massive, kind of like waterfall place and you'd be able to go and do like tubing. So we would buy like a big rubber ring each and we'd link them all together and we'd like go down the river in this massive circle of rubber rings. But you're kind of like at this place all day and it's not like, there's not the nicest toilets there. There's not loads of places to eat and like stuff like that. So you have to make sure you've got all your stuff because once you're there, you're kind of set there for the day. So that's why I say like, make sure you've got comfy things because normally you're there. Well, okay, and I can't really say this. It's just based on what my experience was. We would be out at this certain place for like however long we were staying there for. But then again, some days off, we just went for, like for a shopping day. We went to the mall, went and had a bit of a relax, went out for food and went for went to the cinema so it really depends on the vibe just make sure you're kind of covered and you've got a few different little things as well another idea for a little shirt this shirt i have no idea where i got this from i remember wearing this all the time in lockdown because when the weather was really nice i would just be outside all the time but again little check shirts like this just something comfy and cozy and i think i'm virtually done with this first section of some outfits like, let me know in the comments if you'd rather me try all the outfits on so you can actually see them like i say i only didn't do that because it's cold and I didn't want to keep getting in and out of loads of clothes. So let me know if you would rather see me actually try the outfits on or whether it works quite well just trying a few on and then talking you through the rest. Let me know because I probably will do another one of these videos if you seem to like it, if it's helpful, let me know. Last thing, clothing wise, I haven't again wore this yet. This is from Princess Polly and this fits so nice but it comes with a matching top. Again, like the green shorts, I haven't ordered the top yet. I want to order the matching top because this would be a really cute outfit. Probably for a night off, to be fair. Like, it's just a cute little mini skirt and a little, like, long sleeve top. So that would be cute. But definitely for travelling after, I want to wear this. Okay, shoes-wise, this is one thing that I really need to get before I go back to camp because my shoe game at the moment just isn't it. So, at the moment, I'd, like, normally at camp, I'd, like, 
Converse is what I live in. Definitely for nights off, I'd normally wear, like during the day at camp, I'd wear just like normal trainers, like Nike or Adidas trainers, whatever I was comfy in, more like gym trainers. And then I'd wear like Converse or Air Force or Jordans maybe for like a night off outfit, just because they feel a little bit more dressy for me. But again, whatever you're comfortable in is what you need to take. Sandals are nice to have as well. Definitely sliders. Sliders are something you'll live in, again, for your day off. So yeah, if your day off makes you've got a few pairs of flip flops or some sandals, sliders, and you'd be good to go. Other than that, like shoe wise, I can't really think of any other shoes that I'll take. I might take my Doc Martens with me, potentially, but they are quite bulky and they take up, like they're quite heavy. So we'll see how I get on with that when I'm packing. Also, I can't believe guys how soon the summer is actually gonna come around. It's April 3rd when I'm filming this. So I've literally got two months and like four days until I fly, I think. So I just can't wait. And the packing video is honestly gonna be quite worrying, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't want to have to put that into like different parts because it's all important information that needs to be in the same video. Like there's no point me splitting it and putting like all my tops and shorts in one video and then my underwear and bikinis in another video. It needs to all be in one. So I'm going to have to learn to stop going on so much about things I don't need to go on about. But yeah, I hope that's been a little bit helpful. It's kind of giving you an idea of some outfits that I would wear. But this is definitely stuff that I would take with me. I'll take all of this to camp providing i can get it all in my suitcase but yeah if you've got any questions about any like outfit ideas or if you're not sure again where to like buy things from if you want specific items or if i haven't said where something's from that you like the look of please just let me know in the comments so i can help you out if you're looking for things but yeah thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video